This is the Shine On You Crazy Daisy podcast, and I'm your host, Trudy Simmons from the Daisy Chain Group, providing platforms and opportunities for business women to be seen and heard. This platform is for the women entrepreneurs that want to hear the real stories of what it takes to be yourself and run a business with all the different hats that you might have to wear. Come and join the Shine On You Crazy Daisy membership, offering online networking, co-working, collaboration, and monthly masterclasses for you to grow your knowledge. Go to the daisychaingroup.com for more information. These are the platforms to hear and share the stories of the tenacious, the rebellious, and the resilient women that are working towards the future that they build for themselves and their families. Hello and welcome to the Shine On You Crazy Daisy podcast and today I am thrilled and excited to introduce you to Angie Brown from Angela Brown Business Management Consultant. Angie, thank you so much for being involved in Shine On You Crazy Daisy volume four and in the podcast. Please tell us about your business. Okay, well, thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, I run a business management consultancy and I help female business owners to learn how to deal with creating freebies and then what to do with them next so putting them all through the channels um, and creating funnels and things like that so the techie side of business funnels we love funnels funnels (laughs) um in your chapter you quite brilliantly talk about the confidence saboteur turning up after you were made redundant how did that affect you with what you then did Well, I think after sitting in a big corporate company for 30 years, you get kind of complacent and you know your place, if you like. Mm. And if you were to think of it as an engine room, I'd be the one looking after all the gears and creating all the work and passing it to the guy in front and saying, stand up and tell them all about this. Mm -hmm. So it was a case of I was quite happy and comfortable in the back. But when it came to thinking about how I was going to move that forward and start my own company, I got extremely scared because I had no confidence about standing up and shouting and telling everyone how wonderful I was because that's not the sort of thing that you do. (laughs) You know, someone else did that for them. (laughs) So, yeah, it was very, very hard stepping out of that role into doing something on your own, really difficult. How did you work with that? Uh, I think what happened was I I found a group of women that were very uplifting and encouraging um, and they really did help me sort of develop that the ability to go out there and just just tell people what I actually did Mm -hmm. and then when that happened my passion um, came through so people liked me because uh, they sort of resonated with my passion Mm -hmm. and um, don't be afraid to ever show that because that will really that helps you build your confidence. Absolutely. Absolutely. You had some business coaching at a crucial time. What did that teach you? Well, it was when the pandemic hit mm. and I lost about 85% of my business, my clients. They kind of took it all back in house, which is understandable, completely understood where they were coming from. Um, but that just found me kind of rocking in the corner, not knowing what was going to happen next. And then a friend of mine posted that she was doing this pro bono thing with a group of coaches um, and was looking for someone to, um, or looking for people to help small business owners. But she came to me to do the, lo- the logo and everything for it. So when I did the logo, I said, oh, is there any chance I could jump on with somebody? And she went, absolutely. Um, and that I did. And it was amazing. I had six weeks with this wonderful person um, who helped to actually eke out what it is that I wanted to do with my life what it was that my business wanted to evolve to. Um, And that's what I've been doing in the last two years. Really, really crucial because I didn't think it was possible, but she made me believe in myself. Yeah. And I I love hearing that because as much as I'm a business coach, there is so much out there for anybody that looks for the opportunities. Yeah. And for women entrepreneurs in particular, working out what you want rather than what you've been told you can do or should do is key to having a successful foundation for what you want to go and build totally but oh what what a change as well in what how you were then able to represent yourself yeah yeah so I know that you spoke in the chapter about keeping things positive and having positive people around you why does that feel like the right thing for you I know that's that might sound like a strange question but some people don't need that why is that important to you um because I think when I lived in the corporate land which is no 
nothing like Disneyland. <laughs> I have to say, nothing like Disneyland. Um, there was a lot of moaning minis, and I used to get really annoyed with them. Like, don't I can't function listening to you trying to get my job done. Mm-hmm. I love my boss who was telling me, Miss B, you're doing a brilliant job, love it. But so that, and that is why I, I surround myself with people that are uplifting, positive. Um, and if they're not, I try really hard to make them <laughs> more positive. Yep. And if not, then sorry. I kind of just leave them behind because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm trying to run a business. um, I'm trying to sort of to build myself up and I need other people around that are on that level or higher that I can aspire to. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I would think with your background, with your confidence saboteur, you don't want that creeping back in because you've got negative people around you. So it's exactly really important. Yeah. And I have on my notice board all kinds of positive messages. Um, and people have sent me things when I was I actually reached out when things went really bad. Mm. And people were sending me things through Amazon, mm. um, like jars of notes to open up and it were positive things. And it was just oh, just amazing. It's amazing. That's incredible when you can find that tribe of people. And yeah. I think there is a lot more. Um, obviously, you can go into some massive groups and there's always going to be one or two in there that are the, the moaning minis, as you call them. I love that. Um, but it is important, especially when you're working for yourself, that you are able to find your positivity for yourself as much as surrounding yourself with people yeah. because it is so hard to get knocked down. And it we is. don't do that. <laughs> No, and when you're working for yourself on your own, in my own home, with no one else around me, I don't want to associate with people that are just going to make me feel like that. Well, mm-hmm. actually, I just want to feel like this. Yay! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and, and when you feel like that, you can make other people feel like that. And that's that's the ripple effect of, of brilliance and positivity. Good on you. <laughs> and systems, Angie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if there was one lesson that you've learned that you would want every entrepreneur to know, what would it be? Okay. If you're starting out, in business the one thing that I would say is do not wait for perfection because perfection never comes and actually the the best way to learn about business is to make mistakes Mm -hmm. Um, and don't wait for that website to get done don't wait for your logo don't wait for this don't wait for that just just crack on and do it because all the time you're networking and people are getting to know you that's how you're going to sell your product it's not about how your logo looks what color you've chosen not about that it's about you and about your product Brilliant. I love that. And absolutely take the action to move yourself forward. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite business book? Uh, I've got it in front of me today and it's called Build Your Business in 90 Minutes a Day by Nigel Bottrell and Martin Gladish. Mm. Now, this is not about your clients. This is about you looking after your business and nurturing your business. So this is um, about you spending 90 minutes every single day it's up to you when you choose that time it could be early in the morning if you're that sort of person you know I'm not that early (laughs) but I do like to do stuff for my business before I start on my client work so you know even batching things for 90 minutes a day or you know um like your social media stuff or thinking about blog posts that you could be writing or new courses you could be building or learning you know time time for learning to 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 elaborate what you know Um, Working on your business, as yeah. much as your business, and but putting the time aside is very important. It's key. It really is good. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Two years down the track, and look at you now. I know. Systems queen. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. Thank you so much for writing your chapter and 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 talking about this confidence saboteur because a lot I think a lot of people will resonate with that and how yeah. you come out of it so thank you for being in volume four of shine your crazy daisy and for doing absolute that. pleasure I've loved I really loved writing bounce back stronger because the bounce back thing comes comes from when things get you down you bounce back on I always used to say to my boss don't worry I've got a I've got a rubber ass I'll bounce back <laughs> loved it rubber <laughs> ass Ange <laughs> Always I love back. that. And for, that's how you shall be known from now on. <laughs> Thank you, love. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please like the video and click the subscribe button for this channel for more inspiration. If you're a businesswoman looking for that community that will support you and lift you up, come and join the Shine and You Crazy Daisy membership, offering online networking, co-working, collaboration and monthly masterclasses to grow your knowledge. 
go to the daisychaingroup.com for more information. And for even more inspiration, please go to the link under the video and get your copy of the Shining You Crazy Daisy series of books with inspirational and motivating stories from business women around the world. 